What time is it? It's science time! If I had a quarter for every time my crew had an amazing idea, I would be rich! Which leads me to another experiment. We're building a centripetal force board. That's right. What you need for this is a piece of cardboard. It can be any size, technically. It can be a piece of cardboard or a piece of wood. You also need some string. I have a little push pin to start my hole. I have a pen to make the holes bigger. A cup with some mass. In this case, I'm using pennies. Penny for your thoughts? <laughs> All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take our push pin and put a hole into each of the four corners. Now I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to just make the hole bigger. We're going to take our string and we're going to unravel our string and make it get four pieces that are the same length. So I'm just going to use the string and measure it against itself. Now what we're going to do Take our first piece of string, put it down into the hole, and I'm actually going to bring it up and I'm going to use and tie it against itself like this so that I know it can't slip back through the hole. I'm going to repeat that three more times. And our last one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up and bring all of these strings to the top. And the goal is to tie them off so that all the strings have the same tension from the board. So I think we're pretty close here. Perfect. Might be a little bit long. I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. You can always change the length. There we go. All right, we've got our centripetal force board. So now I'm gonna cut off a little bit of the string. So now that we have that, now we can add our mass to it. And I can start to swing it, just like this. Now, you can see here that it wants to rotate, right? It's rotating from the centerpiece here. This is the centripetal force. And centripetal force means that it's pulling towards the center. But our weight, our pennies, are trying to push out because of inertia. They're staying in motion. And what we're going to do is I'm going to try to rotate this over my head, up and around. I'm just making sure it's okay. I'm gonna slide back. If I do this correctly, I don't know if it's going to work. Do you think the pennies are going to fall out, or do you think the pennies are going to stay in the cup? That is the question. In three, two, one. Whoa! That was so cool! It worked! It actually worked! And I thought it would, because centripetal force is a force that is exerted inwards to the center of the system. So it's... it's the force is actually pushing in because I'm keeping all of this tight. The board, everything wants to stay connected to the center. But inertia, inertia wants these pennies to push up and away. But when the board and the pennies meet, it keeps them all together in the same place. So the question is, if you were to take this outside, how many times could you get your centripetal force board to spin without losing control of the pennies and having them shoot all over the place? In fact, if it's warm enough, instead of having pennies in your cup, you could actually put some water inside and have some fun to see if the water would actually come spilling out. Give it a try. Build your own centripetal force board. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you want to see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY Science Time.